who could possibly be a better candidate for the mayor of Detroit than me, Mike Duggan? Over the past four years, I have made Detroit known as the comeback city. Before I was the mayor, the city was in peril. I am so proud to have been a part of Detroit's rising these four years and hope to continue as the mayor to watch this city thrive for many years to come. This city is my home and the home for millions of others. I hope you will vote for me to take care of our home and continue the work that I have started. I will start by reminding you what I have accomplished this term. I was elected near the end of 2013, and by March of 2014, a bill I proposed was passed by the Michigan House of Representatives regarding the scrap metal business. Before this bill, many objects were being stolen from houses and cars to be used in the scrap metal trade. After the bill's passage, a paper trail is now available to track who is scrapping and where they are getting their metal from. It also stops immediate payment, lowering the incentive for these illegal acts. Additionally, in January of 2014, ambulance response times in our city were at a national high of over 15 minutes. In 2016, this average time dropped to 8 minutes, the lowest it has ever been in our city. This happened because of the hiring of new emergency medical technicians. During my time, I have also launched the Motor City Match. I saw the potential of our land and businesses. I allowed local and international businesses to use our best land to bring more business and jobs to our city. In January of 2016, I also initiated Project Greenlight. This project connected gas station cameras to the Detroit Police Department. By February of the next year, violent crime had dropped by 40% near these gas stations. I plan to expand this project to many more gas stations and other businesses in hopes to further reduce the violent crime rate. Even further, before I took office, many of our streets were unlit during the night. Parks, homes, and streets were invisible, making crime increase and safety at an all-time low. 40% of our city's 88,000 lights were not functioning. Over the past four years, we have installed 65,000 new LED streetlights. Our city can now be seen from space, shining brighter than Cleveland and Lansing. We finished installing these lights a year ahead of schedule. Jobs are also thriving in our city. In 2016, 16,000 more people were employed than the year before. The unemployment rate in Detroit is now at its lowest point since 2001. When I took office in January of 2014, only 62% of our buses were running on schedule. With our new Express and 24-hour bus system, 98% of our buses now run on time. As a conclusion of my work this term, the Adopt-A-Park program has allowed churches, businesses, and neighborhood leaders to reopen hundreds of closed parks. $12 million of our budget has been devoted to reopening these parks, all with input from residents. As you can tell, our city has made great strides during the past four years. With my leadership and the help of the amazing people of Detroit, we can make a better city for all. I have many future plans as well. My goal is to provide two free years of community college for every student who graduates from a Detroit school. I never want a student to worry, whether they are in grade school or high school, that they will not be able to afford college. I promise at least two years will be paid for at a community college. To remain on the topic of school, I promise to hinder Michigan's government's plan to close 25 failing public schools in our city. I think it is unacceptable for thousands of parents to receive letters saying their child's school may close next year pending a 45-day review. My priority in my potential second term is to establish equality in our public education system. There are no schools to accept all of these forgotten students. If Governor Snyder does not comply with my request to halt this plan, I will sue the state. These closings are not legal. To conclude, I have eight principles for the redevelopment of our city. One, everyone is welcome in our city. Color and status is irrelevant. Safety will not be an issue. Two, Detroit will not support further development if it causes current residents to relocate. Our residents will stay where they are. 
Three, we will fight economic segregation by supporting jobs in all neighborhoods. Progress neighborhoods should have no advantage over poorer areas. Four, blight removal. Five, we will create walkable neighborhoods. Fear should not be in the minds of those who want to walk around the streets or through our neighborhoods. Six, those Detroiters who never gave up on our city and have stayed will have a voice in what is going on around them. They deserve a valid opinion. Seven, Detroiters will have priority to new jobs and opportunities. We must take care of our own residents. Eight, the riverfront is for everyone. I've greatly enjoyed my last four years as the mayor of this amazing city. I hope to continue in this position as nobody could possibly care more about our city and its citizens than I do. I've continuously called Detroit our city as it is not mine to overrule, but ours to strengthen and progress. Please vote for me, Mike Duggan, to further this city and make our home a place welcoming for all people. We will create a thriving, safe city that all other cities will strive to be. Thank you.